defending your religious freedom. Here is Dr. Chaps. On today's show, we have a returning guest and a fan favorite. Josh Bernstein will give us political analysis of the horrific police brutality case in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where everyone's seen, maybe if you've been watching the news or on the internet, uh, four policemen have now been fired after one of those policemen put his knee upon the neck of a black man who was arrested for forgery and later died because of the policeman's brutality, according to reports and eyewitness video. Welcome now, uh, Josh Bernstein, with your thoughts on this. Josh, uh, we're against brutality of any kind. Well, let me start out by saying this. Um, I'm a big supporter of the men and women in blue. They have a great job to do. It's a dangerous job. And I thank each and every one of them for their sacrifices on a daily basis. But that does not mean that they are immune to criticism and bad judgment. And to say that this was bad judgment is an understatement. This was a murder caught on tape. This guy was not resisting arrest. Uh, the, that officer had his knee on his throat. You can hear him saying, I can't breathe, calling for his mother. Uh, then you had the other officer just standing there watching. Then you had the other people videotaping the whole thing, saying he can't breathe, let him up. It was really, truly, not only a disturbing video, but uh, I really, truly do hope that capital charges, capital murder charges, um, are uh, levied against this officer for what he has done. I thought it was absolutely sickening. Uh, again, he was not, George Lloyd was the victim. He was not resisting arrest. Uh, there was no way he could have. He, the guy had his, his knee on, on his neck. So it was really sick. But let me say this, the folks that are out there that are demanding justice, you know, right now, look, this is the United States of America. We don't just take people and line them up against the wall and shoot them dead right in front of you to give you satisfaction, okay? We have a system of, uh, of justice, and let's hope and pray that that system goes and does the right thing. We know that President Trump has been on top of this. President Trump has now said that he's going to open up and tell them to open up an investigation into this. That is the right thing to do. But it is not the right thing to do for these idiots out there that are looting targets and destroying property in their own neighborhoods, and now it's spreading to other areas of the country. That is not the right attitude. And you know what? I hope the police arrest all those people and throw them in prison too, because it's a little bit on the ridiculous side for what they're doing. I understand that they're angry. I understand that uh, what they saw is making them sick, as it is all of us. But we do have a system of justice. Let that system of justice take its course. You know, Josh, I, I don't, and a couple of white guys here, I, I assume you do not pretend to speak for the black community but they are outraged no, I ain't be black. Be because in the past, <laughs> other cases like this, uh, you know, the Trayvon Martin case, the, the other cases, the, the one in New York where he was the other man who died saying, I can't breathe. Um, this, is, this has happened in the past and usually the cops get away with it. Uh, way back to, uh, I think 1992, uh, the riots in Los Angeles, were caused after the Rodney King beating. And the police had a trial, but they were found not guilty, and then more riots ensued. Now, are the premature rioters just not willing to wait for a verdict on these uh, policemen who probably will face a trial? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a good point. The, uh, obviously, from their reactions and looting and destroying property, uh, I would certainly agree with um, your sentiment there. but. You know, look, this entire thing was caught on tape, and I don't believe it was edited or changed. I mean, you can clearly see from the beginning of the arrest all the way to the point in which this unfortunate soul literally left this earth in front of us on camera, in front of millions of people. So uh, I do hope that justice uh, is served. I hope it is swift. And I hope, as I said before, that it is uh, the most severe penalty possible. And, and if that means capital murder charges, then absolutely that's what this officer should get and, and should see. Some of my friends on Facebook are, are pointing out um, the anger, the righteous anger in, in the black community who is obviously deeply offended. I'm angry, you're angry. 
Um, these cops should be tried. They should not get away with murder. Uh, and yet, Planned Parenthood has killed 360,000 black babies uh, in 2014 and similar numbers in other years. Uh, in their Planned Parenthood abortion mills, black children have been the victims of genocide for many, many years, and nobody bats an eye. In fact, uh, the Democrats want federal funding for this. Is there any um, outrage that you've seen over the, the innocent blacks who were being murdered uh, compared to this guy who was suspected of forgery, granted uh, that is a crime, he's not innocent, but still should not have been mistreated the way he was. Well, look, I think there's no question that the Democrats are truly the party of death. Uh, they celebrate death, they fund death, death. Um, they, uh, they do political activity based on the ability to bring death to unborn babies. So you're absolutely correct. And let's not forget the fact of um, Planned Parenthood. Margaret Sanger, who literally called black children weeds and said that, uh, you know, we need to get rid of the weeds in society. That's why Planned Parenthoods are in urban and, uh, you know, black dominated areas and communities around the United States. Not all of them, but many of them are. And it's really sad because there truly is a black holocaust that's been going on, you know, since the Roe v. Wade decision. And again, it's not just black babies. Of course, it's white babies as well. And it doesn't seem as though the Democrats really care. I mean, look what they've done in New York and other states like Virginia, in which they literally have passed legislation that allows you to kill your child on the day it's born. I mean, these people are animals, truly animals that anyone that would do that to a child. But, you know, I don't see them protesting in front of Planned Parenthoods. Where are the black activists out there that are for life that are should be out there protesting Planned Parenthoods? You Here's know, another stat. Neighborhoods. Uh, let me just read from grrighttolife.org is uh, African-American women comprise 13.3% of the US population but have 36% of all abortions, uh, about three times as many as their population uh, pr proportionately. More than 28% of all black pregnancies end in induced abortion. My point is, if you're angry about this, if I'm angry about this, just imagine how angry God is. The feelings of righteous anger that you have inside of yourself uh, or that the black community has on, on these kind of horrible occasions, just imagine how God feels every day when his innocent children are slaughtered. Take action today. Dr. Chaps needs you to sign an important online petition. Today, I wanna to invite you to sign a critical petition to defend innocent babies and to end abortion in America. On this show, we like to pray and petition God, but we also need you to take action today by petitioning Congress to stop the taxpayer-funded child killing, especially by defunding Planned Parenthood, America's number one abortion provider. Why are your taxes paying to murder innocent children in the womb? Well, if Congress would simply define personhood as life beginning at conception, we can reverse Roe versus Wade. Please join me today by signing this important petition to Congress. Visit PrayInJesusName.org Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org and sign your petition today. Sign today's petition right now. Again, visit PrayInJesusName.org to sign our petition right now. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now at 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.